The FF9 one didn't seem too bad. Which one was the FF9 one? Be oh, you mean this year's? The one where we have to use the B team? <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen how Seven and I demolish FF9 with with Amaranth, uh, Steiner, and and uh, um Freya? Just being able to like use charge and low HP and, and immunities and stuff. We we annihilate that game. It's it's kind of hilarious. <clears throat> but uh We'll see. I mean I, I, what was the other incentive for FF9? I actually can't remember off the top of my head. Are we 100%ing? 100%ing what? FF9 or this? Here, here's the thing about the Fiesta, all right? Let me, let, let, let's be very clear about how the Fiesta works. All right, first off, it's a race to the finish, okay? It's a race through the entire franchise, right? So we're going to be completing the game as fast as possible, okay? But we're not allowed to run away from any encounters whatsoever. No running allowed, right? No glitching, no skips, none of that speedrun stuff, you know, like we can use speedrun tech like in FF7, you damn well bet your ass we're going to be using weight tricking and Tifa. It's going to happen. Although, you know, with <laughs> the incentives, no shopping, no items, <laughs> we're going to have to make adjustments, you know? We're going to have to prepare for things. We're going to have to fight every random encounter. We can't just run away and speed run our way through it. Trust me when I say the hardest part of the Fiesta is no running. All the rest of the incentives, they offer additional challenges. But just getting through the game without being able to run away and also simultaneously trying to get through it as fast as possible provides levels of challenges you, you can't even comprehend without actually trying to do it. I always urge everybody to play along the games with us uh, because you can kind of like see for yourself like, oh, she's, she's, what do they do? How, how do they get through this? You know, kind of thing. It's harder than you think. It's harder than you think. Uh, and it's a ton of fun for me and Seven. Did we talk to Seven about FFA? Yeah, somebody said something about Ultimisia capping at 65, but I'm almost positive that's not the case. Uh, I'm like 99% sure. In your opinion, level 100 Ultimisia isn't that bad? I've heard, I've heard level 100 Ultimisia is the hardest encounter in the entire game beyond, you know, beyond like, uh, Omega or whatever. But again, I mean, if it's not, then whatever. Being level 100 in general is actually going to provide an additional challenge just because like level five death is a thing. We're gonna have to get to level 100. Uh, like th th that alone, you know, is something else. I'll end this quickly. Oh. I can tell you right now that modifications and, and fan games and stuff are almost never going to be a thing in Ichi or Ichini uh, because the whole idea is celebrating the Final Fantasy franchise, not someone else's version of the game of the franchise. Uh, there might be incentives to play mods or something like that, perhaps sometime down the down the line. That's a possibility, but generally speaking. We're celebrating the franchise, not another interpretation of it. Uh, I also am not a big fan of most fan-made games uh, or hacks or whatever because they tend to take a lot of liberties in the translation department and most of the time the difficulty uh, improvements are really just RNG, guess the right elemental weakness and then you can win, otherwise you get your ass kicked kind of thing. It's not really a super interesting mechanical difference. Your Fiesta is your ultimate goal, sort of. I'm working slowly towards 100% of all FF games, so your Fiesta really impresses me. Well, I have 100%ed almost every single Final Fantasy in existence, including side games. Um, there are some that I haven't, mostly the, the Crystal Chronicle games. I don't really give a two, two patooties about 100%ing. Uh, 13 2, I have not 100%ed, which is all fragments, which I don't know if I care to ever do that. That seems like really rough. Uh, Lightning Returns, I have platinumed it. 
Uh, X2, I definitely 100%ed that one. That was something else. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus, I don't even know if there is such a thing as a 100%. Tactics, I've definitely done that over and over again. Any main game, I've definitely 100%ed for the most part. Aside from like FF2, 100%ing all the spells or skills or something, which is just absurd grinding. I'm not going to do that. I don't feel the incentive is, is too bad, although the melee characters are definitely better. Uh, I, I need to be reminded what the, the second incentive was for FF9 to comment. It was, uh... Oh, it's just always B-Team. It's a shared incentive. Okay. I think it's not too bad. You're right. But remember, that's also, like, rush mode, you know? Race. So, I mean, it's gonna it's gonna throw us for a loop. Not to mention, our melees are gonna be really underleveled when we do have to use them. They're gonna be pathetic. If it's a singular incentive, it means it's a shared incentive, which means we both have to hit it in order for us to advance with that incentive. Have I 100 true 100 percented FF6? You mean like all the rages? That I don't I don't give a shit about that. That's not a true 100% to me in, in terms of, like, you know, if you don't do it, then you didn't 100% it. All characters, all espers, all content, that's that's 100% enough for me. I, I, I feel like getting all of Gao's rages and stuff is just stupid because there's a lot of formations you can completely miss permanently, and there, that's it. You don't get to do anything about that. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Mm -hmm. Why is that? What's up, Revenues? Thanks for the host, dude. The snow What's is going on? always white. Wrong. In Helavis, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix... Then it's not snow, snow, is it, idiot? Gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Killaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flamestone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm, Mount Killaraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. But yeah, like, also keep in mind, we can't, like, ultra hard mode every single game. You know, if we were to do that, first off, we'd run out of things, fun things to do for future in, uh, incentives. But more than that is, like, we'd just be spending so much time with every game. So sometimes, like, you could argue FF13's incentives are pretty simple, pretty easy. That's fine. I mean, maybe sometime FF13 will be the big super boss one. Maybe you're not, you know? But if we have every game being Omega whole Ultra incentives, it'll be pretty rough. But either way, I think overall, as a whole, I think the incentives this year have been not only the most unique, but the most challenging so far. But there's still another game to be unveiled. At least one, anyway. Did you, did you really kill him? Yes. We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like. But I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. <laughs> we still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. Oh. It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Are you sure about that? <laughs> hey, Velvet, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go. Hey, you don't need to be so pushy. Her voice actress got so That's much better when she became used to it. edgy Violet. Velvet. Have you, oh, uh, have you considered incentives to allow donators the ability to make the game easier in a small way? So you're talking about like help or hinder, like, you know, donate a small amount and then I have to go kill myself or you, you can, you know, allow me to do something special or something like that. Let me run away from an encounter. Well, that's exactly, exactly it, Katsuroi. They hired her for her main character voice, not her. I'm a happy-go-lucky teenager voice. Kirazara, we invented crowd control way before crowd control invented crowd control. 
I've been doing events like that for years. I just have to manually do it. <laughs> it just doesn't automatically do it for me. Um, so the thing about that, Papa Pondi, is... <clears throat> There's already a lot going on in the Fiesta as it is, uh, and adding additional complications like that can really start to bog things down for an event that takes so long to do. Additionally, it can really alter the course of the, it can really alter the course of the, the event. If for instance, like somebody helps me out a lot more and then hinder seven a lot more. And that kind of devalues the, 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 the idea of a race being fair that kind of thing. So if I were to run an event like that, where it's just me, having the help or hinder thing is totally acceptable. In fact, I have plans for another Mario Games. Uh, if you were there for Mario Games, which was a ton of fun, where you could mostly hinder and sometimes help uh, my progress through a lot of the Mario games, I have a plans for that. I have plans for a few more events with that kind of thing. But really, uh, the help or hinder thing for a, a race would be really hard to make, keep this, the, the whole the whole thing fair. Is Final Fantasy Tactics going to be played? I don't know. You know how it works, the dance. We unveil some information, and then there's mysteries. You'll just have to wait. I will tell you that Final Fantasy Tactics is not part of the main collection of games that we're playing. The main games are Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 15. I can guarantee you, every Fiesta, those games will be played. What is played beyond that? Guess you'll just have to wait. With the Novice Smith Acerite, you can now enhance and dismantle equipment at shops. Ooh, enhancing a piece of equipment will improve its parameters and provide an, a chance of activating an enhancement bonus. You can obtain the materials necessary for enhancing by dismantling equipment. Let's start by enhancing a piece of equipment. Select enhance from the menu. Bronze scrap. Loser gives subs to the winner channel. Look, Seven and I support each other quite a bit as it is. <laughs> I don't think that's so necessary. I think one year I gifted like 50 plus subs to him and, and another year he gifted uh, about the same. <laughs> because uh, we are both viewers and supporters of each other's streams because uh, we like each other's content as well as being friends. Materials required for enhancement are displayed on the lower left. In order to perform the enhancement, you must have all the required materials. In addition to materials, you also need Gal to enhance equipment. The Gal needed is displayed on the lower right. If you don't have enough Gal, you won't be able to perform the enhancement. Okay, well, that's really cheap, so that's good. Since this is your first time enhancing, you can enhance a Blood Blade for free. Please select the Blood Blade from the equipment list. And I did it, I think. Damage against stun foes, plus 10%. Because all oh, the enhancement... Because of the enhancement, your blood blaze improved and the enhanced level is now displayed with a plus one at the end of the item's name. Additionally, the enhancement bonus triggered, giving it a new skill. The limit for enhancement levels depends on the acerite you use. The novice smith's acerite allows you to enhance items up to plus three. With another acerite, you can enhance an item up to plus ten. Once a piece of equipment has been fully enhanced, its name will be changed, will change and become gold. The number and amount of materials needed to enhance an item increases with its rarity and the number of items it has already been enhanced. Higher quality enhancement materials can be gained by dismantling enough equipment, though this cycle of enhancing and dismantling could create more powerful equipment. <sighs> this is like gotcha, gotcha game it's nonsense uh, levels of grindiness, except that I'm not limited by like an energy mechanic or something. Vazerol, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, man. How's it going, dude? Now try dismantling equipment. Please choose dismantle from a menu. A list of your equipment is displayed on the left side of the screen. Equipment can be dismantled, that it can be dismantled appears in white. Items that are currently equipped are locked, appear in gray and cannot be dismantled. When you select a piece of equipment for dismantling, the list of materials you will gain by dismantling the item will appear in the lower left. That's good, that it tells you. Now try dismantling blood blade plus one. Okay. <clears throat> the materials you gain from dismantling a piece of equipment depend on the enhancement level of that equipment as well as skills attached to it. This ends the tutorial of enhancing it. Dismantling equipment, use these techniques well to create strong characters. And that's how it's done. Get it? Nope. I suppose. 
It seems like kind of a hassle. Yep. Uh, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. It's an That's anime game. True enough. It, it's like hey, it's like if it'll make me stronger. Clichés and I'm parodies, sure not parodies, but if it'll help me take him down. Anime games are pretty much clichés the video game. Or the show, or whatever. All right, so if I'm equipped on an amber blade, I just need an amber fragment. But if I dismantle, I get an amber fra fragment. I can just dismantle all these. Dismantle that one. Dismantle that one. Then I can enhance. Damage against stun flows plus 10%. Attack plus seven percent. I'm not gonna enhance his because he's got uh Seems like a hassle devs new. I know, right? I know. I know. I don't know if I want to enhance this. I mean, I can always just do plus two, right? Just to get the passives. I'm gonna equip, I'm be unequipping that soon. Shop has reached level two, you will receive a discount. Great. Increases map movement speed by 10%. Nice. Hi, Kenny Cat Calf. Hi, Bloody Da. What's up, King Bill? Chance to nullify fire damage. Augmented Attacker. We got a new title. Mm, decreases cost, equipment skill, learning speed plus one. Ooh. What do I have? Equipment drop rate? Oh, man, I think I want to go with the, with the leveling up. I mean, the, it's like I want both of them, you know? Because it's like I want to get more equipment so I can have better things to equip and dismantle and stuff, but... I, I think, actually, I'm going to go with the Collector. I think it's too good. Uh, increase the stagger duration, capability versus beasts. I'll oh, keep what you got, dude. Oh, he mastered this. Whoops. Looks like he'll be putting on this one then. He'll put on those until he masters them. That one was a pretty fast mastering, so... Thank you. 
Let's move! Uh. We're done talking about Dragon Quarter and Discord. Yes, if you want to repost that, uh, whatever, whoever did the blue message was really nice. I, I mean, actually, to be honest, all of you guys' separation for uh, games has been awesome, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, feel free to put an official block between this and Bersaria or Dragon Quarter. You can you can say no more Entrada BGG, which kind of sucks because it'll be like two months plus before me to before I can go back into Discord and look at the viewer viewer choice. <laughs> messages. Uh, was it this way? I think it was this way. I'm just like going back and forth on this smuggler's path. Like, yeah, it's no big deal. I'm being, I'm smuggling myself repeatedly. Well, maybe, but that's Oops. only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked I mean, again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can, but we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. I have to agree with both of you. Great mods and great people around here, and I'm very thankful for you guys' help with everything. Thank you. I like how items respawn, especially the cat souls. Cause that could be kind of a pain in the butt to constantly be grinding those or find needing to find everything. Are you a people? I hope so. It'd be weird if you were like a robot or something. So you want people to sit on you? You are a cheeseburger? I'm going to eat you. No offense. You'll be rushed on my blade. Devour! They were nothing. All enemies each have a small chance of dropping equipment when they are defeated. Some say that each enemy has one unique equipment drop. Drop rates for equipment improve with each enemy defeated in the same battle. So if you are hunting a specific enemy for its equipment drop, save the enemy for last. Ah. However, defeating enemies with Mystic Arts has a much greater chance of drop rates. So if you can create an opportunity to defeat a greater number of enemies with Mystic Arts, you should take it. I don't have Mystic Arts yet, I don't think. Oh. Okay, so that's basically the big slow motion claw strike then. Whenever I do the devour, that's uh that's a mystic art. You be ready. Devour. You you so that is a mystic art. Now, right there, right? The flame that I did, that was a mystic art. I can't even call that a f Seven Sins, speak of the devil. We were just talking about you and the Fiesta. What's up, man? Thank you for the host. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Tales of Cute War Werewolf and Vampire Animal Girl. It's actually a pretty legit game so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it, but yes, people of the internet, Mr. Sins in the channel right now, 
He is my partner in the fiesta starting December 1st. Although we will both be having a day zero of the fiesta where we'll just hey, kind of do some fun content. Did the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? Yeah. But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Uh-huh. Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Tales of Boobies, not an inaccurate title. I mean, yeah, a little bit. It's It's got some fan service, to be honest. But uh, so far... The game has been a lot of fun, and we've got about six hours or so into it, and it's been it's been pretty good. Been enjoying it. But yeah, this will be the last day we play this game until the Fiesta starts, so uh, don't get too attached to it. But enjoy the content nonetheless. Final Fantasy stuff coming up soon. Oh yeah. She's hopeless. Her keel's busted. It'd be faster to build a new ship. Oh good, Her then keel? just. You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, very that's carefully. Enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Well, F and Jed for my boat. F for oh, boat jam. Nominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice Shippu to Chan is dead. Sister. This is the sequel to oh, Horse Meter Saga where Shippu Chan dies. It's the Shippu Chan, Chan death arc. Y your face. What happened to you? Oh, I burned him. The demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My my poor brother. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> he was too pretty pain, anyway. I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat hey, that's for me. even a seasoned praetor. Please take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Hey, Lizzie! Worry not. A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. Oh, Oni Chan, that's you. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit. I merely boarded without permission. <laughs> <laughs> oh, got her. You, you're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Wait, is that Laura <laughs> Bailey? Are useless against the mighty Muggy Lou. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Is Priestess Lady Lara Bailey? I swear I heard uh, a bit of Kane in there from from near. You don't think so? Okay, could have just sounded similar. It, she didn't strike me as Laura Bailey at first, and Laura Bailey is better than what this performance is being given by her. So, it was probably just a similar sounding thing. Brianna Palencia, okay. <clears throat> Hi, 
Hey, it's me, your demise. Burn in righteous flames.